I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Good morning. My name is Mrs. Lewis. I teach seventh grade social studies here at Venice Mill, and I want to welcome you to our program. Thank you all for joining us. We have gathered today to honor students who have demonstrated academic excellence so far this year, this school year. Here at Venice Mill Middle School, we strive for excellence in all that we do. Being engaged, empowered, and ethical are the foundational skills that make all other great things possible in our learning community. And the application to our studies is the focus today. Sidney J. Harris famously said, the whole purpose of education is to turn mirrors into windows. He seems to be encouraging us to examine those people and situations around us who can help us with different paths to grow and improve as individuals with a focus on learning. When we can see how different we are, but can still work together, anything is possible. The students who will be recognized in a few moments have shown that they can navigate the many challenges of middle school. They've shown desire, focus, determination, and have taken advantage of the opportunities that have been given, both in the classroom and in life. We have many student leaders in this school, as you can see. These are the individuals who are role models for their academic success. Please give them a hand. Thank you. We will be calling up in groups the students who have maintained an A-B average or above with a special emphasis on those who earn straight A's in all of their classes for the entire first semester. All awardees will receive a certificate, special Bronco bus, and have their name posted for recognition. In an example of true partnership, we have partnered with PTO who will speak to you about how they are here honoring our awardees as well. We have PTO President, Ms. Christy Mitchell, who will speak to you on that. Good morning, Bronco family. Um, we are very excited to be here to celebrate our scholars today. My name is Christy Mitchell. I'm your 2022-2023 PTO president, and I have my other PTO board members here with me as well. We have Britt Camby Pratt, who is our PTO vice president. Selena Hobbs is our PTO secretary, and Ms. Courtney Randall, who most of you students know, is our treasurer. In honor of today's honorees, the PTO has provided gift bags for all 200 plus scholars, as you can see on this table here. We will also enter a all scholar names into a raffle for a Bennett's Mill sweatshirt or t-shirt and hopefully at the end of today's program we can present those. If not, we will be sending them home with scholars. These are examples of the sweatshirts, blue, navy, and gray, so we will give those scholars a chance to choose which color they would like to receive. PTO stands for Parent Teacher Organization and our main goal is to support the school's initiatives via our money, our time, and our talents. Without parents and teachers working together, the PTO cannot survive. This year, the PTO has already been able to provide several luncheons for staff, gift cards for our bus drivers, and of course, today's goodie bags and sweatshirts. Parents, if you have not yet joined the PTO, it's not too late. Your $25 annual membership goes to support all of these exciting initiatives for the school. We are also a nonprofit organization, so please remember us when you are making charitable donations throughout the year. Students. Please tell your parents and caregivers to also join the PTO and support any PTO initiatives for the year. There are two initiatives that I'd like to mention. First, as mentioned, we do have our sweatshirts in all colors that are for sale, as well as t-shirts. Secondly, we are sponsoring a Mardi Gras social scheduled for February 10th, which is a Friday evening here at the school. 
Both of these are fundraisers for the PTO, so your support is greatly appreciated. Again, thank you for supporting, and we do have a PTO table set up in the back corner if you want information later or if you want to order sweatshirts and t-shirts. Congratulations again to our scholars, and I challenge you all to keep up the good work and to continue to make us all proud. Thank you. One more thing I forgot to mention that our um, honorees will get. In addition, our high honor roll students, um, these are students who have earned all A's in all of their classes for the entire first semester, will also be awarded um, special uh, bucks for a special VIP pass opportunity and a magnet to proudly display on their locker. We are excited to take this time today to celebrate these individuals and their achievements. In the interest of time, we ask that you please wait to clap until the end of, the, of each group that's being called. That at this time, let's reward our awardees, our scholars. Good morning, my name is Ms. Callier, and I have the privilege of calling all of our scholars. Once again, I'm going to remind you, I'm going to call the group. They'll be in the front right here for you to snap a picture. We're also going to have opportunity for you to stay with your child a little bit later so that you can get a picture, and I ask that you hold your applause until the whole group has been called. Okay. We're going to start with the AB honor roll, and we're going to start with sixth grade. Angel. Adagumaye, Aliyah, Ali, Jade, Amoroso, Chloe, Askew, Bilo, Ba, Travion, Bailey, Heaven, Barron, Caleb, Bates, Gabrielle Benson, Pratiksha Bandari, Candice Bland Thomas, Noel Carr, Sydney Carter, Taylor Carter, Isla Casillo, Ariana Casillo Mendoza, Kiara Clark, Aaron Clark, Eden Clay, Romeo Couch, Ashton Kreit, Madison Crow. Brielle Dennis, Megan Dudley, Dean Dumas, Let's give this group of students a hand. The students, you may be seated. Okay, for our next group, Richard Eberhardt, Roderick Eberhardt, Cameron Farrell, 
Jasmine Felto, Jasmine Felto, Zoe Furch, Kelsey Gooden, Shakira Green, Bailey Henderson, Kaylee Hevia, Ryland Hines, Eva, excuse me, Evie Horst, Cameron Horton, Kenneth Hunt, Ashley Hunter, Rabia Tu Jalo, Arish Jawani, Christian King, Mackenzie Langfield, Daniel Lozano Cruz, Leilani Laos, Isabella Mencia, Azaria Mays, Nigel McFarlane, Cameron McNair, Marcus McNeil, and Arthur Mitchell. Let's give these students a round of applause. Okay, students. Iris Mitchell, Rachel Montgomery, Nancy Moreno Ruiz, Kaden Miles, Lincoln Nelson, Brian Wynn, Samaya O'Bannon. Joel Paul, Destiny Peacock, Carly Perales, Emerson Perkins, Amaya Phelps, Madeline Pumaroff, Julian Purifoy, Zara Kudos, Skylar Quinn, Jasper Ray, Camilla Robinson Ramirez, Inara Russell, Eddie. Santiago, Yana Shapiro, Zion Thomas, Jonah 
thrash. Let's give Issa a round of applause. And for our last group of sixth grade AB honor roll, Peter Toyo, Alicia Varani, Renee Walker, Adriana Willer, Cassidy Williams, Shiloh Yehuda, Maddox Biggs, and Axel Plunge Ogo. Let's give these students a hand. We're going to reserve the all A's until the end, since that is like very special, like straight A's for the whole semester. They will be called at the end. On to our seventh grade AB honor roll, Benita Aberfour, Mubarak Akintoye, Cole Biscoff, Kendall Blanchard, Lauren Bliss, Noah Bonner, Skylar Buswell, Norellis Berganza, Callie Cosby, Elijah Davis, Braylon Dixon, Brooklyn Dixon, Isaiah Domini, Nicole Dong, Giovanni Ford, Skylar Fraley, William Gardner, Amaya Gray Journey, Emily Green, Jillian Hamilton, Landon Hanks, 
Armani Hazel Foster. Let's give these group of students a hand. <laughs> students, you may be seated. Jude Hilton, Alika Humphrey, Anaya Hunter, Sophia Kokorina, Malika Leilani, Taylor Latham Coyote, Crystal Latson, Kennedy Marcus, Alfonso Mitchell III, Tatiana Morales Ricketts, Savannah Mullins, Alana Nelson, Christopher Nesmith II, Tega Algodo, Esteban Orozco, Xander Perry, James Purdy, Tanez Rafter, Emmanuel Reffel, Helena Sheldon, Amaya Seiler, Oksana Simmons. Let's give this group a hand. <laughs> Students, you can be seated. Lauren Singleton, Malia Stevens, Jelani Stewart, Stephen Tate, London Thomas, Amelia Tingle, T. Trong, Rebecca Usora, 
Sir Jamaj Vaughn, Kadia Tu Wan, and Jade Ajaye. Let's give this last group of seventh graders a hand. Good job, students. You may be seated. On to eighth grade, A.B. on a roll. Tania Barkley, Garrison Colmore, Gabrielle Costner, Kadia Tu Diallo, Uzili Deal, Tynasia Hart, Jayla Heatley, Armani Hope, Ty Hopper, Ayan Jawani, Ayana Johnson, KJ Johnson, Catherine Cavney, Addison Lawrence, Trinity McCullough, Donovan McGee, Eliana Montano Yanez, Kaori Moore, Cadence Mullen, Hannah Knowlton. Nyla Pearson, Zaire Rule, Suhan Samnani, Levi Sims, Kaylee Struck. Let's give this group of eighth graders a hand. Good job, eighth grade. You have a seat. Chanel Flores, 
Gabrielle Pennington, Moshin Varani, Peyton Chandler, Lauren Hobbs, Talia Knox, Karen McClendon, Samantha Ohande, Ava Payne, Taylor Ross, Aubrey Samuel, Maya Solomon, Aiden Thomas, Raya Toussaint, Destiny Tumbling, Chase Whaley, Josiah Williams, Gabrielle Wooden, and Mohammed Zigweli. Let's get these students a group home. Thank you. Students, you may be seated. Moving on to our all A's. For the entire semester, we're going to start with sixth grade. London Carthorn, Lauren Davis, Megan Dudley, Hannah Ewings, Alexis Flor, Phoebe Flintoff, Eric Flores. Carter Galloway, Rebecca Greenbaum, Journey Jenkins, Elijah Jones, Oscar Loth, Ruby Nagisi, Blessing Obina, Layla Shanks, Cameron Taylor, Alexia Watson. One time for the all A's. <laughs> Students, you may be seated. Seventh grade, all A's. 
Bradley Blackman, Autumn Canby Pratt, Emir Gamaleev, Elena Horton, Dane Lee, Eloise Meyer, Hillary Wynn, Akuna Ahaya, and Louisa Zong. seventh grade. <laughs> Students, you may have a seat. And now for the coup de gras, eighth grade, all A's. Kayla Benedicto, Tommy Davis, Shirley Dung, Kenya Gaines, Aaron Greenbaum, Arian Hoke, Nina Lee, Leah Lewis, Moses Morano, Simon Morano, Kamari Moreland, <laughs> students please hold your applause, Deborah Noyarko, Amarachi Amahaya, Michael Panae, Adrian Purifoy, Nova Sagasume, Stacy D, Jasmine Thompson, Justin Tran, and Chanel Vivor. Let's give these students a round of applause. Okay, students, you have a seat. We want to thank you all. We definitely have, um, we want to recognize our students for all the hard work that they put in. Um, it is well earned and well deserved. And your teachers, the staff here, your parents here, we are all proud of you and the effort that you put in to being successful here at Bennett's Mill. So again, we want to applaud you and thank you for what you have done.
We also want to recognize the work and effort that our parents put in. Many of us are parents ourselves, so we know a lot of the late nights, the extra trips to the store, those last minute trips to get supplies for projects and studying for those tests and being that extra person that they need you to be uh, to help them be successful as well. So we want to recognize and thank you for that as well. So thank you to the parents. Students, give your parents a round of applause for what they do for you. We are extremely excited to be able to publicly recognize our students for their academic success. And this is something that has been a long and a very challenging journey um, that uh, several of our teachers and staff have undertaken to make sure that you guys know how much we recognize what you do in the classroom. So uh, I do want to thank the committee that helped put this together. Uh, we have uh, Ms. Jackie Bays over here. We have Ms. Callier. We have Ms. Brown. Ms. Holt, who is not here today, but we want to recognize her. Ms. Holcomb. Ms. Patterson. Our media specialist, Ms. Harris, who also is sick today. And myself, Ms. Lewis. We want to thank the teachers who supported us and helping to get us information, even if it was last minute. We definitely want to thank you for that because we, we also, it helps that support that the teachers gave, they all were very excited to be able to recognize their students as well. We absolutely want to thank administration for giving us the room to plan and do what we need to do to make sure that our students know that we see you um, and we see what you do. We have our um, assistant principals, Ms. Smith and Ms. Gummerson. And then I'm going to bring up Mr. Ward, our principal, for a closing remarks. What a fantastic ceremony. What a fantastic ceremony. My name is J.P. Ward. I want to tell you, I am the extremely proud principal of Bennettsville Middle School. Just thank you so much for coming out today. There's some, there's some people that I want to thank. I want to recognize some she already did. First, to our recipients, our student scholars, congratulations. Let's give them one more round of applause. Your hard work, your dedication to your academics, it shows. So congratulations one more time. I want to thank the parents and the families. It's great seeing you all coming out today. You know, thank you for your support of Bennett's Mill. Thank you for raising some great kids. I am blown away by how awesome our middle school students are. So congratulations to you. Get, students, clap for, clap for the families. I want to thank again the uh, academic recognition team. We have Ms. Lewis, Ms. Callier, Ms. Holcomb, Ms. Patterson, Ms. Brown, Ms. Bays, Ms. Harris, and Ms. Holt. Fantastic job today. Very good. This ceremony today was put on by them. It was teacher-led, so thank you for your leadership and thank you for your desire to do this. Um, I also want to thank our PTO. Our PTO is fantastic. I want to thank you for um, Ms. Lewis presenting the idea to the PTO about today and then the PTO saying, yes, we will definitely partner with you. So excellent job, Ms. Mitchell. Thank you for your team. If you have not joined up for PTO, I want to encourage you to do that. You can do it at the table behind us. 
if you have joined, I want to encourage you to join a second time. That would be excellent. So, so thank you very much to our PTO. And, and then this next part, it's to all of our students, whether you received a award today or not. I want to thank you to all of our students. I want to specifically focus in on three areas. In the area of math, so we have benchmark scores, and in the area of math, we have gone from at the beginning in August, we had 42% of our students who were on or above grade level in math, and at the December benchmark, now we have 56% of our students on or above grade level. That's a huge improvement, good job, excellent job. In the area of uh, reading proficiency, which focuses in on reading comprehension, vocabulary and fluency, our students have grown an entire grade level one whole year in only half of a semester, in one semester, half of a year. So that's an excellent, huge amount of growth in our reading comprehension. Very good job. And in the third area, in the area of discipline, I want to say that you, the students, we've had a 23% reduction in the discipline referrals that lead to in-school suspension or out-of-school suspension. So excellent job focusing in on your academics and not getting so involved in the drama and the instigators who are stirring the pot. So thank you for focusing more on your academics. Great job. And the, the last group I want to focus on is, um, is our teachers and our staff here at Bennett's Mill. The teaching is a, di a very difficult job, very difficult, but it's also a very rewarding job. And it's a day like today that really shows that it's a testament to the hard work our teachers and our staff have put into our students. So I would like to recognize our teachers and our staff here at Bennett's Mill. And the last, my, the last thing I want to say is, I want to leave you with a word of encouragement. We celebrated uh, Dr. Martin Luther King last week, and I want, to, I want to, one of my favorite quotes that he said, and he said this quote to a group of Spelman students, Spelman College right here in Atlanta in 1960. He was speaking to them to encourage them, and I think it's appropriate for you guys today. And you probably know this quote, you can help me with it if you know it. But he said to these students, and I want to say to you, if you can't fly, then run. run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, keep moving forward. So you have done an excellent job of moving forward, moving forward first semester. The encouragement and the challenge is to move forward with the same enthusiasm that you have right now this second semester. So that's my challenge for you. Keep moving forward this second semester. So that, that's it for me. Again, thank you very much for coming out. Let's give us all, I want to give our, our host again uh, one more round of applause. Thank you very much. All right, at this time, we, we do have to continue with our school day, so we are going to ask parents and awardees to still remain seated while our classes are dismissed. Students, please 